It offers a modern and fresh conceptual photography portrayal as well as make the audience go down memory lane and bring back memories of the 90s through different media. That's a photo project by a young Mozambican female photographer opening at the 13th floor gallery in Johannesburg this afternoon. Now, according to the curator, the exhibition will start with a timeline that showcases the different historical events that happened in the 90s in Mozambique as well as on the international scene, whether it be social or political. While well, Nomfundo Malinga is the 13th floor gallery manager and curator of the exhibition, and we're joined by Aria Marina, the photographer. Well, join us now to tell us all about the project. A very good morning to you, ladies, and welcome to Morning Lab. Thank you so much, and yeah, thank you. <laughs> Nomfundo, let me start okay. with you. Take us through how the idea of the 13th floor gallery first came about, and how art lovers in general have been responding to the idea. Okay. Well, the 13th floor gallery was founded in the building, as you see in the in the image, which is um, Anstey's building on the 13th floor. So we occupied the apartment there. That's where the idea of the, of the gallery started and we've moved from different venues. Um, we have pop-up exhibitions from different venues. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> founded in the, 13, in the 13th floor of the apartment at Anstey's and now we run studios there as well. So we've got... And there are plenty of uh, art galleries popping yes. up in and around the city, but what would you say makes 13th floor stand out or different in whether it's in what is offered or how artwork is curated or whether it's the diversity of artists that you bring into the studio? What are some of the things that stand out? Well, what stands out with us is yeah, the diversity of the artists that we have. Well, the, the art scene in Johannesburg is not as um, exposed as it should be. We have galleries in and around, but not so much in the heart of the city. And what we are is we, are, we call ourselves the, con um, the custodians of contemporary art in the heart of Johannesburg. Uh -huh. and this is us working with, with artists based in, in the city and, and abroad, but what makes us different is that we give you a cultural experience. People are scared of coming through to the CBD and as we here to say that it's safe, you know, <laughs> parking may be an issue, but <laughs> we're just a few blocks away you can take a, um, 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 a taxi or because it's an uber um, and, and just drop on by yeah. so basically give you the cultural experience oh fantastic yeah. well we'll definitely be coming through especially because the cbd is safe and people need to dispel the notion that it actually is not safe let me yeah. come to you aria uh, you're the photographer and you are putting on uh, this uh, great uh, uh, exhibition at the 13th floor gallery uh, you're taking us back into the 90s you are uh, fusing fashion and art and just take us through the idea and how it came about and what is it that you really wanted to express through the exhibition well first of all thank you for having us here it's a real honor to have you have us both here mm -hmm. um i started the the exhibition wasn't supposed to be as big as it's become it's mm -hmm. gotten legs of its own <laughs> um i just i remember that um how the, it started off by me wanting to relive the 90s um, because the 90s fashion is coming back now. So I just wanted to use that, a mix of fashion, because fashion represents different eras, different times. I wanted to use that, and I wanted to use it in a place that I grew up in Mozambique. So I took a bunch of friends around, it was March this year, we went to photograph at the place, and then it grew legs. Uh, my mother had a very interesting point of view, which was the history of Mozambique and everything that happened in the 90s, like the Civil War and signing peace treaty. But I also grew up in South Africa. I schooled here, so I knew of the events that also happened in South Africa, such as um, you know the end of apartheid, etc. So I wanted to collaborate, and that's why we have a timeline uh, to educate people a little bit about what was going on around Africa and international influences. All right. Now, speaking of the 90s and looking at, uh, well, the 2000s, the time that we're living in now, uh, what would you say are some of the similarities or um, some of the significant moments or, or things that uh, influence sort of each generation? Well, um for just in terms of uh, i mean you, you spoke about the fashion mm -hmm. and how the 90s fashion is coming back now yeah are there any other things or trends that you see the current generation having in common almost with the 90s generation well apart from fashion i mean you do see the music influence yes. mm -hmm. um okay. it 
very, very deep. But also in Mozambique, I do see artists that are taking a lot from the 90s influence in terms of painting, drawing, graffiti, mm -hmm. etc. So art in, its, in itself is coming back. Um, but that's the point, mm -hmm. to take from the 90s. But not only to take art from the 90s, but the attitude. Mm -hmm. There was a purity um, in the 90s that was there. People fought for a greater mm -hmm. cause. They didn't fight for to become rich or famous. famous. They wanted to be liberated. They wanted to have a voice. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly the fight that we as artists should have even now. It should never change. All right, fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, quickly, as we wrap up, let us know where we can find you guys this afternoon. Where can we see this amazing exhibition? Okay, you can find us this afternoon from Toff till late at 59 Gilbert Street on Commissioner Street. I'm right. um, Johannesburg CBD. All right, fantastic. Yes. Ladies, yeah. thank you so thank much you. for your time and thanks for chatting to us this morning. Thank you. That's Nomfundo Malinga, curator of an exhibition titled 90s Project by Aria Marina, a young Mozambican female photographer. Uh, it's opening at the 13th floor gallery in the Johannesburg CBD.